Today, the sixth day, the sixth episode, we just want to highlight advantages of a day of service. Most times, United Nations, UNICEF, UNESCO, will ask us to observe a day. Children's Day, Women's Day, Health Day, Water Day, you know, Poetry Day, and so on. But this is the most important day in the world. But we just want to observe, I want my listeners to just listen the advantages, listen to the advice of a day observance. A day observance, promotion of awareness, greater action on the issue. Greater action on the issue. We are talking about every May 7th of the year to praise God. Collective and individualistic action. For example, on Sunday, collective go to praise God. I want them to take it as a responsibility. Yeah, we praise God in our church in our closet, but take it as a responsibility from God that they are saying we should praise Him. Have it in my ears, even with your praise. You are praising God, you call God said we should praise Him that day. Luckily, it failed. And I'm assuring you that God will happy to your praises. Be looking up to, up to that day, it's very important. That's why we said we have an episode, episode two, episode up to seven on that morning. We look up to that day. This is a day. It's like you know when Christmas is coming. We say ah, 25th of December. As Easter have just passed, now we are looking at ah, if Easter Friday it has never missed. That we miss Friday and Monday. You go to, oh, you are looking up to the part of Jesus Christ, the death and resurrection of Jesus. You look look up to. May send more praise the Whatever we say, I've been praising God before. This one is going to be different in my life. And I can assure you, praise God. Take your Bible, take your pen, put it beside you. You had a dream. There will be a physician of heaven. I assure you for that. Hmm? Much more preparation for that day. You are highlighting advantages of a day of servants. Hmm? You prepare, when you prepare, you say, ah, when we are preparing, even when we say our children's day, we are preparing, say, quit cloth. Even in the school, they will say you, if you are Yoruba, take a, up a, okay, your children should put on outside dress, you are Igbo, take up Yoruba. You know, we get prepared. All those small, small children, look at them, they are putting up. See, preparation. Eh, preparation. More preparation for me, seven world crazy. Eh? Let's have a greater number of participation, collective, individual, phone, your children, your brethren, your husband. Please don't, don't forget May 7 World Praise Day. Please, I beg you in the name of Jesus. God has spoken it, but don't forget. Don't forget May 7 World Praise Day. More spiritual growth, we assure you, because heaven will move and the earth will move. A greater number of people that participated in praising God on May 7. Hmm? Refocus attention. You will refocus your attention. Everything will refocus his attention upon you, upon your family, upon that situation which you have been crying to God for. Hmm? God, because God will inhabit your praises. There will be a jelly visitation. There will be a jelly visitation. To people, and there will be greater peace in the world. You will see greater peace in the world when we praise God. Greater consciousness that God has spoken, we must observe. May 7. So, observance of May 7, what praise day, it is, it is, I can say, it's very important in the world that God has spoken that we should praise Him. Hmm? Because it's direct approach to Almighty God. We know Him in vision. Nothing can stop it. You can pray. They said that they prayed and prayed and prayed. And the Prince of Pasha withstood him for 23 days. Until God said, Angel Michael. But when you praise God direct, He will come. Hmm? All indices are involved like thanksgiving, worship, praise. When you are praising God. You adore him. He is the King of Kings. He is the Lord of Lords. He is the Almighty God. Hmm? 
you worship him. Eh? You pay obedience to him. So these are the things that we worship. Hmm. And God knows and see what we are doing on earth. Attention is, is focused, is given to what we are doing on earth. Hmm? And what is done in heaven is replicated on earth. He said the angels, they praise God, they worship him. Why not be a partaker? It is what Almighty God enjoys. Hmm? God used prayer to answer our prayers in person and collectively. Hmm? When the children of Israel we praise God, God opened way for them. When you praise God, He opened heaven. He opened way. That way that is blocked. Hmm? And let me tell you, when we come scientific, there is psychology in praise before you go to heaven. Because your, your whole body, your soul and spirit will be different. Hmm? And God will help us in Jesus' name. The Almighty God will help us in Jesus' name. And I, 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 I did a research. I did a research that let's say human being breathe in and out about 22,000 times a day. You are a human being, you are a human Breath. 22,000 times a day. Go and go go it. Hmm? They say a person can talk words of actual value. Words which have intent to communicate to another person an item of importance to both. Hmm? Research shows the average person speaks at least 7,000 words a day. Which many speaking much more than that. You say average person, you speak 7,000 words a day. Hmm? Think about what it means for you that 7,000 words at least you speak each day are your imprint on the world. That's what God said, praise him. When you are not praising God, you are speaking 7,000 a day. Hmm? The question is, how many of those words serve little or no purpose at all? How many? That word that you speak, 7,000. That word is scientific research. How many words can a person speak per minute? In the English language, people speak about 140 words per minute. A fast speaker will get to 170 words per minute. A slow speaker will use around 110 words. How many words does a woman speak in a day? Women are the use an average of 20,000 words a day compared to mere 7,000 that men utter. The reality now is that if you can open your mouth on average of 7,000 times a day, believer or unbeliever, why will you not open your mouth to praise God on every May 7 as commanded by your maker and retreated in the Bible? Just show you the importance of praise. See how we waste much words. And God has created all. You have your spirit, you have your mouth, you have your lips. He's asking you to praise Him. So, your maker. And as you are doing that, He answer your prayer. He will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. So, God is the owner of power, He is the owner of everything. So what he's asking us to do is very simple. In as what you can, even by you speaking, it's a grace from God. And as you do all this, listen to me. We have to sponsor May 7 World Praise Day. And God will bless you the more. In Jesus' name.